Welcome to our summer series where Adobe shares with you the latest tools and tips to help you keep your creativity flowing all year round. We're doing that by practicing createfulness. So what is createfulness? It's about being fully aware of your own personal creative journey as you rediscover the past, get inspired by today's leading creatives and explore the latest technology for the future of design. It's essentially refueling, creating and going further. So this summer, we've been showing you how to approach your creativity from a fresh perspective and develop new personal habits to take with you way beyond the summer. So let's continue by getting into our final video of the series. Today, I'm joined by Olyur Rahman. Hey, Oli, how are you? Yeah, I'm very well. How about Welcome you? Welcome to the show. Where so, do you come from? Um, I'm from, from England. I'm just outside London. Um, I mainly do web design, uh, mobile design. I'm a sort of, sort, sort of creative director for companies. Companies usually hire me bring me in to give them a look for their website and their apps, things like that, basically. And uh, you know, uh, this whole summer series is all about keeping the creativity flowing throughout the summer. You know, when the work is down a little bit and like working on passion projects and yeah. doing things like this, how do, you, how do you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, I, I, like to, I like to come up with concept apps. I like to work on different things, you know, as well as doing design and stuff, I do various other things as well. But yeah, I like to work on concept apps, um, sort of ideas that I've had, um, and then sort of design them, share them on the internet, and see what people think. Um, that's what I like to do. That's the cool thing about the internet, right? Immediate feedback. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you can just share your work out there, and people are interested. Whether it's, it's something that's real or something that's just made up, they're always interested. Yeah, and the cool thing about personal projects is to take the time to work on something that you really like. And the benefit of doing that is that uh, personal projects really represent you and this is something that in your portfolio can be very very important to get the work that you really want. And uh, do you have some sort of a creative motto or something that you tell yourself like a mantra to keep your creativity flowing? I, I mean I think it's just the, the things that a lot of people have heard before where don't spend too much time in front of the computer, don't spend too much time sitting in front of the desk, you know get out there, see other things, do things. Um, you know, I like to even just read magazines and stuff, maybe watch films, TV shows, and just spend time with friends and family as well. I think, I think that definitely gives you a good refresh when it comes to um, designing stuff, basically. And then, back to the computer. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you know, when I, when, I th when I come up with something and I think, oh yeah, actually, you know, that would look great, I just try it out, see what it looks like on the computer. All right. Okay, let's dive right into your project. So you were provided with some elements that were um, unearthed by Eric Speakerman and his team, both in his private collection and at the Tipoteca in Northern Italy. And these elements, the same exact elements that you are getting here on, the, on Adobe.com, and you use those elements to create an experience, to create an app, to prototype an app for something that inspired you for the summer. So the interesting thing about that, of course, is that um, these elements, you know, they can spark any type of, uh, of reaction or inspiration. So I see that you are inspired by the car. Yeah, of course. When I saw um, some of the elements and I saw the car, I just thought it was natural to come up with an app um, to, do, to do with driving. You know, I'm interested in driving. I love driving. I have a sports car myself. Um, and I wanted to come up with an app where you could find popular driving roads, you know, driving roads, whether, whether they be around you, whether they be somewhere else. Um, so, you know, I took the illustration that was available and used it on the splash screen. All right. And you, I see you also used some of the um, elements of the pattern. Yeah, of course. Um, so I took the pattern, I deconstructed it, and I thought actually that would work really well as the route, um, you know, on the map. So when someone goes to see a road, they'll obviously want to see the route, and I thought it would be a good way to use that element for the route. And I think this is a very good example of how you can use those elements, deconstruct them, reinterpret them, because this is really what we want you to do, is to take those elements from the past, from the last century, reinterpret them in a modern way and to create a contemporary design. And Ali created this contemporary experience. Uh, are there some, some things in XD that you found useful to create these three screens? Yeah, of course. So I think um, the components feature is, is a great one. As you can see on the best road screen, you know, um, there's quite a few elements that look exactly the same. And using a components feature for something like that, you know, if I wanted to change, say, the text size or the text 
bold or the color, it will change them across all of them without me having to go through each individual one and change them individually. Mm -hmm. So remember, this is a very useful feature for when you have repeating elements. Uh, also in that grid, you can use the repeat grid feature in Adobe XD to create that, that grid. And then also these elements that are repeated, for example, the stars, this is something that could be a component. Yeah. And as Ali mentioned, the components, the benefit of components is really that you have one element that you can then change. For example, if you need to change the color of the star, you can change all of them exactly. at once. Yeah. Uh, so let's experience the, the app. Yeah, sure. So I used um, XD's um, prototyping feature um, to really sort of make it feel like an app. You know, you can use it on your phone so you can really see what it looks like. Um, you know, you can go from the splash screen, you click on get started, it will take you through to the best road screen. Here you can scroll up and down, so it really, really feels like an app. That's the, that's the main thing about the prototyping feature. You can even change um, the animations between each screen as well, if you like. Um, and then when you click through again, you go to the actual road itself. Um, from there, again, you can scroll up and down. Yeah, auto-animate is, is another feature that is super interesting for you to explore during this summer of createfulness. Uh, auto-animate is really uh, something that allows you to have a screen, a uh, second screen, and then animate things uh, between them automatically. Yeah, Auto-animate. Exactly. Auto -animate. exactly. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, the summer of createfulness is also, you know, not only about exploring the past, re uh, using the elements for a, um, a design in the present, but also to take it a step further. Is there anything you would do to the app to add something, you know, something that you would like to see maybe? Yeah, sure. So, you know, when you go to see a road, it would be great to add some pictures. It'd be great to see pictures from people who have been on those roads. You know, they'll be able to upload them and then you can see what they've experienced. It would also be great to have individual profiles. So, you know, I'd like to be able to see what roads my friends recommend or people, say someone who I follow on the internet, an influencer or something. Um, it'd be great to see what roads they recommend as well. So yeah, uh, you know, I think there's quite a few different things that I could add, add to the design. Well, I can't wait to explore the roads. <laughs> I would love this app. Uh, I can't wait also to see what you will be creating as an experience with Adobe XD. Well, thanks, Ali, for swinging by and showing us your UI UX design skills. And I hope this will inspire you to create very interesting experiences as well using Adobe XD. So thank you so much. Thank you for bringing me on. It was a pleasure to be here. Well, that's it from us. I hope you enjoyed this summer series full of gratefulness. Make sure to join me in this journey and put your skills into practice. Check out adobe.com for all of the necessary information. I hope you have fun. I know that I did and enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye. Bye.